My name is Steve Garbett, I do the sport of Skeleton. In Skeleton, we go head first down the bobsled track. We get speeds up to 90 miles an hour, G-force up to 5.5G, all with your chin just an inch off the ice. Mental toughness is one of the biggest assets in sports, especially when you get to this level. At this level, all the athletes are good. They're all physical specimens. They all train hard. They all work hard. That mental aspect is the, the difference between first and second normally. Coaches and parents can really help young athletes by being positive and also pushing them. So making sure that they are setting goals very high for them, challenging the young kids, but also standing there and supporting them. Uh, even if they lose, let them know that they can learn from these losses. The biggest takeaway is that it happens to everybody. It happens to all of us in life, whether it's business, sports, love, we all have setbacks. And the people that end up on top are the people that get back up the quickest and work the hardest. Um, so I know that we're all going to come into hardship, injury, loss, whatever it is. But if you work the hardest and you get back up the quickest, you'll be on top. I actually was diagnosed with uh, compartment syndrome. Uh, compartment syndrome in the calves. Once you get injured, there's a lot of things that go through your head. Is my career over? Um, can I make it back from this? You have, you have a lot of negative thoughts that start rushing into your mind. But if you surround yourself with a positive group, um, keeping that positive mindset is key. For a young athlete that might have gone through an injury or struggle, there's going to be days where you are going to be very negative, you're going to be angry. Find the positive things. Find whatever helps you. Find that outlet. My outlet is getting into nature and getting away. Um, your outlet might be reading. It might be doing something else. It might be playing video games. Whatever your outlet is, find that outlet so that way you can stay positive. And the biggest thing is staying positive during it. On my road to recovery, my workouts changed dramatically because I went from lifting heavy weights, doing plyometric squats, doing all these explosive type drills, to relearning how to walk. So my training went from all this stuff where you're used to go, 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 strong, explosive, to towel curls with my toes, picking up marbles with my toes, little, little drills. So there was a huge difference in that training versus the training that I normally do. Normal training is uh, very heavy lifting, uh, very explosive type drills, plyometric type drills, jumping, uh, sprinting, any of those kind of things. It's very difficult on the battle back to getting back to the top. The biggest motivating factor behind mine was my grandma who's battling cancer. Uh, I saw her struggling and battling and working hard every day and that gave me the, the energy that I needed when I was struggling, when I was down, when it hurt to walk, when it hurt to move. Uh, I looked over and I saw her doing stuff just as much and I knew she was in just as much pain and it just gave me that, that extra edge. It made me realize how precious life was and it made me realize to do the things you want to try in this world and set your goals high because we can achieve anything if we put our minds to it and you don't know how much time you have so go for it, go big. Once I got on the track and I realized I liked it, I set my goals high and from there I've been working my way up and hopefully you guys will be seeing me in 2022.